The key to success in working density of gases problems is the ideal gas law equation, particularly if you are not given the specific gravity of the gas and maybe have conditions other than STP. Here, let me show you. The density of gases, we find the ideal gas law is the best vehicle for determining the density of a gas at whatever conditions. We use the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT. Now, remember moles can be expressed several ways, and in this case, N, or moles, is going to be expressed as grams over gram molecular weight. So we rewrite then the ideal gas law as PV equals GRT over gram molecular weight. But remember, density is mass per volume. So if we take mass as grams and volume is V and do a little rearranging of this, and come on, you're good at algebra, then you will find that density, which is grams per volume, is going to be equal to pressure times the gram molecular weight over RT. Now don't memorize that as a separate equation. Instead, derive it. It won't take you but a moment. Here's a problem. Let's calculate the density of oxygen at minus 24 degrees Celsius and 790 torr. Well, we're going to use our newly derived formula, D equals P times GMW over RT. So the density is 790 torr. But if we use R as being 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin, we can't use torr as pressure, can we? So we've got to change it to atmospheres. And I had to reduce the size of my units there so I could get it on this line. So we take our 790 torr, which is the pressure, and we've converted it to atmospheres there, times 32 grams per mole as the gram molecular weight of oxygen. And in the denominator, then, we have times 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin, and you know that value, I'm sure. If not, learn it. That's the universal gas constant, so just memorize it. Times 249K. Where did I get the 249K? It's 273 minus 24 degrees Celsius. And in working this out, I found that my units of tor cancel, my moles cancel, my atmospheres cancel, my, the, my kelvins cancel, and my density comes out to be 1.63 grams per liter. Very straightforward, very direct. And it makes sense if you think about the lower temperature and the higher pressure, that the density of oxygen would be greater than that you would expect at STP. Brought to you courtesy of the chemistry professor, offering complete courses in chemistry on DVD. Visit us at our website, www.chemistryprofessor.com.